Good morning my loves, I hope you're all really well. It is currently Easter weekend, I love Easter weekend. It kind of, I was gonna say gives me Christmas vibes but I don't mean Christmas vibes. I feel like Easter weekend comes with such a cosy, lovely atmosphere and it kind of reminds me of the same atmosphere as Christmas. Like it's all about family time, all about like the magic for children of the Easter bunny coming. I feel like even though official spring started a few weeks ago, I just think Easter like marks the start of spring. It's the most gorgeous sunny day today. It just, it, I just feel like Easter weekend has such a lovely atmosphere. And we've got some really nice bits planned this weekend. So I thought we could spend it together. So if you haven't already, get yourself your favorite drink, get cozy. And I really hope you enjoy this little weekend vlog. Just about to start getting ready because Tiff is coming over this morning and we are going for lunch at Wurzels. It's been a while since I've been to Wurzels and I am craving the sweet chili chicken wrap. Oh my God, it's so good. Popped on some of the Bobbi Brown face base moisturizer i always use this whenever i wear makeup it's like the best primer and i'm about to use one of my new fave products which is the refi brow tint oh my goodness this is so good this is the brow product that i've needed in my life for my entire life I'm using this on no makeup days as well you know when you feel like your eyebrows just need a bit of a brush like they're just a bit crazy this is perfect because it just defines them a little bit you feel a little bit more put together and that's literally all i'm going to do to my brows like i'm not going to fill them in or anything i feel like i really don't need to with this um i use the shade soft brown and as you can see it's just kind of like just my eyebrows up a little bit today's makeup is going to be quick <laughs> as always because i literally have 25 minutes to get ready so it's got to be quick i am never really one for switching my makeup up i find something i like i stick to it i've had the same makeup routine for the past maybe three years but i have a new technique who do i think i am that i just love and it's the underpainting technique oh my goodness it worked i think that's what it's called is that what it's called it's probably completely wrong basically i don't put anything on what am I saying? No, I do. Top of my moisturiser. Oh, put that in the right place, Gemma. Hold oh it. <laughs> I pop on my bronzer first, and then my concealer, and then my foundation. In fact, uh, I can't even say the word. My foundation just in the bits that I feel like I need. I feel like it looks so much more natural. I'm very like into my natural makeup at the moment. Um. I don't know if it's like motherhood that's changed me, but I just couldn't imagine wearing like a really heavy full face of makeup. <laughs> I feel like that makes me sound really old. I just need to get like my knitting need needles out now and start knitting Noah a jumper. So I'm using the Rare Beauty bronzing stick, which you guys know I love. And I'm gonna do concealer. As always, Too Faced Born this way. Love this concealer so much tiny little bit there on these gigantic spots which let me tell you they, they started appearing last week and I felt like I was growing another head another chin like it was you know one of those spots that makes your entire like face throb it's one of those I was like what is happening to my chin and a new foundation which I'm loving I usually always use the Charlotte Tilbury um is it beautiful skin foundation but this one is just so beautiful this is the nars light reflecting foundation i use the shade fiji quite light coverage but it adds such a lovely like glow it's really nice foundation so i literally take one pump and my foundation brush these are the morphe aerial brushes which i love and i'm just gonna pop this i'm just gonna really spread it like all over but use the tiniest little amount i'm gonna add a little bit of blush i'm gonna use the pillow talk matte blush wand from charlotte tilbury in the shade peach pop i love anything peachy i'm just gonna pop some there and then a little bit on my nose so it kind of gives that like i've just been in the sun i've, I've caught the sun a little bit you know sunk it tiny little bit of the charlotte tilbury powder just under my eyes because I feel like if I don't put it under my eyes 
I just look a little bit sweaty, <laughs> basically. And for my lips, I'm gonna use the Refi Lip Liner in the shade Torp, which is like pretty much my go-to. And I use it all over my lips. That's my face makeup done. I'm just gonna give it a quick spray. Stop talking before I spray that into my mouth. <laughs> Then eyelash curlers, always. This makes the biggest difference. I say this every time, but I mean, look. Look at the difference in eyes. Where are even my lashes on this eye? Whereas this one, they're just... Oh. The I've really been enjoying using is the Bare Minimals. Minimals? <laughs> Minerals. Maximist Mascara. I really like this because it doesn't clump. A lot of mascaras recently I've been using, they just are too clumpy and I feel like this one, let me show you, it keeps your lashes individual, does that make sense? Like I don't want my lashes to all go together so I have like three eyelashes, I want them to stay like super, oh can you hear Tilly? Oh, Tilly! She does that sometimes when she thinks we're all out and she'll just sit like in the kitchen or on like the landing going, hello? 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 That's exactly what she's doing. She'll come around the corner in a minute now she's heard me. So that's my face done. That literally took seven minutes. That's what we call mum makeup. We need the quick, easy makeup. For my hair, I am going to do like a nice soft wave. I can actually have it down today because I'm going out for lunch. Um, I feel like when I'm at home with Noah, it's quite hard to have my hair down because he's just constantly like, oh, your hair's down. Let me, let me absolutely just rip it all out. So I'm using, as always, the Foxy Locks Curling Wand. I have a discount code for anything on Foxy Locks, which is Foxy Gemma M. That will get you 10% off anything. I also have a tapes extensions discount code as well. I don't currently have tapes in, um, but I had my tape extensions in over Christmas and I absolutely love them would really like to get them back at some point um i just feel like at the moment with noah being at an age where all he wants to do is be in my hair <laughs> it's not the best time because i do have to have it shoved up in a mum bun quite a lot of the time and they were such lovely quality you got so much hair foxy locks also have so many different shades so yeah definitely have a browse if you often get tape extensions or you're looking to treat yourself and get them fitted with this curling wand as you can see it's a very long thick barrel so the best thing about this is you can use like thick sections of hair and it really doesn't take long like i can do my entire head of hair in about five minutes thick sections that are about this thick so quite nice thick section just wrap it around my curler hold it there for about probably about 10 seconds like it doesn't need long at all and as you can see really nice thick curls i'm gonna give each individual piece just a tiny little spray with hairspray to get maximum hold finished curling my hair i've just left it too cool and i've given it a little bit of spray with hairspray as well then I'm going to give it a little like brush out with the Foxy Locks comb. Now I like to use one of two things, as you guys know, either the paddle brush or the comb, both from Foxy Locks. They give two completely different finishes. I'll do the comb on this side and the brush on this side so you guys can see. See, I'm just really lightly brushing it out because I want to keep as much of a wave as I can. Then I'm just going to do this side with the brush. I feel like the brush gives it more blow dry kind of waves. And as you can see, this is the side which I've used the paddle brush just to slightly brush out the curls. And this side is a lot more volumized, a lot more like blow dry kind of like waves, as I said. The side I use the comb, I feel like keeps the waves a little bit more defined. With this side now with the brush, just so each side of my hair matches. Super quick and easy as always, and I will leave all of my favourite Foxy Locks products linked down below. Anyway, my loves, I am going to get dressed. I have no idea what to wear today. It looks really, really sunny, but it's probably still like five degrees. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might pop on like a really thin jumper dress, trainers, and then like a light trench coat. I might not even need the trench. I'll see what Tiff's wearing. If Tiff's wearing sandals, 
I'm gonna wear sandals. I love sandal time of the year because I feel like I always struggle with my footwear. I never know what shoes to wear. In the spring summer, I will just wear Birkenstocks from May, May through to August. Love them. I just feel like there's nothing better than like your feet being able to breathe. Oh my goodness. Breathable shoes. That feels like something my mum would get excited about. See, mum life has made me appreciate all these things like breathable shoes. <laughs> anyway, my loves, I will see you when we are at the work. are happy because they have the lunchtime menu which we were a little bit scared they didn't have because it wasn't online i didn't believe you did i no I typical one of these people like me we are fellow menu lookers online jamie's one of these people that just turns up somewhere oh. and will choose at the restaurant and i can't do that i need to pre-plan because i look forward to it more than when i know what i'm having it's just i need like a backup option if they say oh we haven't got this anymore and then you're like the panic order and then you get food, food envy of somebody else's so you need to know you do need to know we've both gone for this which we always have sweet chili chicken wrap with the homemade chips which are so nice and then we're also oh we've gone for a cheesy onion ring oh do you know what else is really nice you like shrimp no no I don't like chili seafood. mango shrimp mm. lunch has been served the most delicious coleslaw in the whole world they actually sell this in the farm shop so i think i'm gonna get some because i love the chips oh my god tiff i'm excited we've waited for this moment for so long tiff's just enjoying a cheesy onion ring that look amazing. Mm. I was just saying that I thought these would be like normal onion rings with just cheese. Do they have cheese really in? Mm -hmm. Wow, they look amazing. And like a sweet chili jam dip. Mm. Yummy! How long have we waited for this? Hair's gone up, which means it's food time. I'm gonna try an onion ring. These are huge. Mm. Uh -huh. Like mac, it tastes like mac and cheese. Yeah, or like the inside of a pack. Wow. Mm. Oh, these were a good shout. A little bit of the chili jam. <laughs> you do it so daintily, I was like ramming it in. Wow. That is so not what I was expecting. I was expecting like just a normal onion ring. Ever come to no, work? Yeah. Definitely get the cheesy onion rings. It's so nice. We've literally been stood here for so long just going through all of them because I feel like the more you look, the more there are. Like there's so much treasure. Flamingos, little cow. Oh, I like this one best. The giraffe, so cute. Those cakes are the best ever. Look at them all. What would you go for? I'm gonna get banoffee. I do. Oh, I love a banoffee pie. Oh, look at these. Easter Rocky Roads. What else have we got? Biscoff Rocky Road. I like the look of these. I love a classic cream slice. I might get one of those for my mum because that's also her favourite cake. What else? Got some scones. Oh, toffee cream tart. That reminds me of like school where they used to do the old school toffee tart. <gasps> Key lime cheesecake. That's Jamie's favourite. A blast from the past. Cornflake tarts. Will these ever be the same? I feel like at school they were just, they were just elite, weren't they? No matter how many times I try cornflake tarts from different places, they're just never, they're never the same as the school, the school cornflake tart with the custard. Noah's actually got this one. I've been near laughed. Yeah, we haven't got it out yet though because I've been waiting for him to be able to kind of walk. Do you think you need to walk to go on there? 
I guess he could rock on it now. Might get that out when we get home, get his little rocking elephant out. Whereas I was home, I've got so many lovely bits. It's like a little treasure hunt in here. I said to Tiff that Noah has got one of these bikes waiting for him in the garage that Jamie got him when he was about five months in my belly. And Tiff said, they remind her of the bike from Saw. First, little wait, jigsaw. If you don't put him on that in a jigsaw outfit, I'm disappointed. Imagine. Okay, we're in the kids' bit at Wurzels, and there are many cuddlies. You know, I'm weak when it comes to cuddlies. Look at these little backpacks. Oh, they've got a dino one. Tiff, look. Oh, that is so cute. Imagine Noah with this one. Oh, oh it's, it's just so cute. Is this cushion? Oh, I love. I feel like this would look perfect on Noah's little rocking chair in his nursery with the safari theme. I just love it. Look at this toadstool. Tiff just said this would be perfect in the playroom to go with the woodland theme. I love it. So cute. Evening, my loves. We are now home. We've actually been home for a good few hours. Tiff has just left. Um, we had the loveliest lunch at Wurzels. Me and Tiff were so tired and lethargic after lunch because it was quite a lot of food to eat at lunch. We were both just like complete sloths and we felt like we needed a nap. Um, so we came back to mine, and me, Jamie, and Tiff had literally spent the past two and a half hours just stood in the kitchen, well sat, stood in the kitchen around the breakfast bar, discussing one of our favourite topics, conspiracy theories. It's one of my favourite things to talk about, but I feel like conspiracy theories is one of those things you can't talk about with just anyone, like you can only really discuss those sort of things with very like-minded people, so yeah, we've been having a great time. And now I'm in the mood to binge watch every single episode of Shane Dawson's Conspiracy Theories, which I think is our plan for this evening. As soon as this little one goes to bed, who's just stolen my phone? That's mine! That's mine, Cheeky! I hid it as well under the cushions up there and he's found it. Noah! Are you a spy? Are you a spy? Noah goes to bed tonight. Me and Jamie are having a Shane Dawson night and I can't wait. Um, and we've also decided that we're gonna plan a little conspiracy theory night, you know, like a murder mystery night. We're gonna have like a conspiracy twist. Or me, Jamie, Tiff, and her husband, Sean, and I can't wait. You want to show everyone your Easter gift that Tiff bought you? Me? What's in there? The ziggies! Also, Tiff vlogged today as well, so I'll link her vlog down below. Um, last time when I mentioned Tiff has a YouTube channel, so many of you guys went over to her channel and you really enjoy her videos, so that makes me super happy. And yeah, I'll leave Tiff's channel linked down below. But she bought Noah... Some little eggs. Any of you guys have these when you were younger? These bring back nostalgic vibes for me. The little squeaky chicks. Hey? In the little egg box. So cute. And then Tiff has her own chocolate company, I know, best friend goals, called Chunky Dunk Chocks. And she bought us a selection of delicious chocolate. So we've got this giant chocolate egg. And Tiff says this is strawberry flavour, which you guys know I love anything hey. strawberry flavour. Hub of pick -a mix Look how huge it is. And we've also got a little box of goodies here. This is very hard to show you when I've got the world's fidgetiest baby on me. Honestly, Noah is never still, ever. Like, he is so constantly, like, da -da 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 all over the place. I can never hold him still. So when I'm trying to show you the goodies that Tiff gave us, it's very hard. No, he spotted my camera, guys. It's actually impossible to vlog these days. Hello. Hi! I was going to share with you the new bits that I picked up from H&M for our holiday but I feel like now just is not the best time. I feel like every two minutes Noah's going to spot this camera and be straight over. It's almost bedtime so it's like witching hour. So I'm going to show you guys these tomorrow. He's got my phone again. I can see you! I can see you with that you cheeky thing! I hid it behind this pillow. Honestly nothing is safe. Nothing is safe. But yeah, I'm going to head upstairs, get Noah ready for bed and then it's conspiracy theory time. One 
just take it before it's gone One last summer before it's fall Tune your strings and play your cards Little words hit me like a game of stars Good morning my love we have had a lovely Easter morning, Noah's first Easter. Um, we've had a nice breakfast together. We had scrambled eggs on toast with strawberries for Noah, of course. Um, and yeah, we've just had like a nice chilled morning. Noah's just gone down for his first little nap of the day. And we're just about to, well, when he wakes up, we're gonna give him his Easter basket. I know this is a little OTT for a 10 month old. And his favorite thing is probably gonna be the shredded paper. But I just couldn't resist and I thought, why not? It's never gonna be his first Easter again. Yeah, I thought I wanna start the tradition this year. And every year he can have his little Peter Rabbit box. I just think it's so cute. The plans for today are, I am cooking a nice Easter roast dinner, of course. Um, and I'm thinking we'll probably have that like early evening. So I'm gonna get started on that this afternoon. And I think if the weather stays nice, because it's such a lovely sunny day, it's like the perfect Easter weather. Like when I think of Easter Sunday, I imagine it to be just sunny. Blue skies, daffodils everywhere, sunflowers, rabbits, little bunnies hopping around. Anyway, nice chilled Easter Sunday. We're going to go for a nice long walk, enjoy our roast dinner, and then eat all the Easter eggs. I was gonna do an Easter egg hunt for Noah, but then I kind of thought, okay, he's 10 months old. The garden is currently a bit of a mud pit because Jamie's in the middle of um, reseeding our grass. And I didn't really want Noah to have too much chocolate because he is only 10 months old. But then I had a thought, I could have got, I saw in B&M they had these big like buckets of little toy eggs, but still the, the grass is, it's just, I feel like that's something we can look forward to next year. Next year can be Noah's first egg hunt. Um, so yeah, when he wakes up, I'm gonna give him his Easter basket. And I just thought I'd quickly show you guys what I picked up from H&M because I didn't get a chance to yesterday. Also, oh my goodness, the Shane Dawson conspiracy theory. I've got so much to say about this. It was all about supermarket food and how basically you know you get like the actual cheerios and then the like dupe of the cheerios that's slightly cheaper basically the whole episode was about how that is basically a scam and they're both the same companies and the cereal is actually made in the same factory with the same ingredients but put into two different boxes and then sold at two different prices um but it wasn't just cereal like it was so many different products um, and it was all about Trader Joe's you guys know I love Trader Joe's I've never even been to Trader Joe's I was saying to Jamie last night that I often like I'd probably say once a month have dreams about going to Trader Joe's but I never get as far as going so my dream will be something along the lines of we've gone on holiday to America and I'm so desperate to go to Trader Joe's and I've put it in on the sat nav but obstacles keep getting thrown in our way and we can't get to Trader Joe's, it's like some weird game of Mario Kart and like, like big rocks in the way and turtles and all of that kind of stuff. I dream about Trader Joe's a lot, it is my dream to go there. Yeah, would definitely recommend the new episode of Shane Dawson's Conspiracy Theories because it's very interesting. Like I loved it, it was also about takeaways as well. It was just, it just made me mind blown and I kind of want to go to all the supermarkets and buy like all of the products. So like the real Cheerios, the slightly cheaper Cheerios. I want to do a taste test. H&M haul I have been collecting a few bits um, basically whenever H&M has new in stuff of like their spring summer bits for our holiday which is next month I can't believe how quickly it's come um, just some little bits for Noah so first up we have his first pair of sandals how cute I also got some little jelly jelly shoes can't wait to see his little feet in jelly shoes. Um, I think these were a little big for now, but I'm thinking by next month, maybe his feet will grow like a size. Baby shoes are always really, I find the like the sizing so confusing. Um, but even if they don't fit for holiday, he'll have the jelly shoes and then these can just be for summer, but I just thought they're so cute. Oh, 
this little swimsuit. H&M do lovely swimsuits and of course the matching little sun cap. I just can't wait to see him by the pool in his little swim gear, his little sunglasses, um, his jelly shoes. My eye, he's gonna look so cute. Oh my goodness, these, his little green sunglasses and his little green jelly shoes. If you can't tell, I love Noah and Green at the moment. Like green is his color. I feel like he just, he really, really suits like a light sage green. Just love him in it. So more sage green things. I got these two little sun hats. Super cute, I love this one. Oh, oh, oh the little, the little ties so cute and then just a plain green one and then i got this little set dinos again green <laughs> um this oversized t-shirt and just these little jersey shorts i think these were like 3.99 and the top was 2.99 which i just thought was really good and would be perfect for the summer and i got this little knitted shorts romper in this like duck egg blue color and um, because we're going on holiday in may it's not going to be like super hot, thank God, because you guys know I do not cope well in the heat. Um, I think like the highest is like 23, which is my max. <laughs> Anything over 23, I need to be inside hiding in the shade like a vampire. We are still in the process of doing the playroom. Um, I've ordered a few bits from Ikea, like some finishing touches bits. I feel like we need some bits for the wall um, and yes, yeah, still... A bit of a work in progress but i've got some bits from ikea coming i think later today it's a bit strange that they're coming on easter sunday but um i have had an ikea delivery on a sunday before so still buying little bits for the playroom and i spotted this and i just thought that was so sweet a little i love a wall rug i think they're just really cozy so i'm thinking of popping this over near the window um so yeah, when the Ikea bits come as well, I will show you those. But that's everything I picked up from H&M. Like I said, just a little, little haul. Just found a little Easter bunny. <laughs> Turbo crawling along. <gasps> Easter bunny, please stop here. That's you. <laughs> What's that? What's that sign? Yeah, Easter bunny's left you something over here. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> <gasps> wow! What's all these things? Oh, look that. Noah's first Easter. What's that? <gasps> <gasps> wow! I'm going to be desperate to give you these. <laughs> I've been so excited. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's next? <laughs> this? Oh, you can have that later. What, he's gonna, he's gonna have chocolate? Kinder. Oh. We'll put some milk in this later for yeah. you. Be careful with it. He loves oh. it. <laughs> oh, bless oh, him. Not it. Should I go get him some water? <laughs> I'll, I'll pop some in there when we go in. <laughs> you want me to fill that with water? Oh, look at this. Daddy blow some bubbles for you. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So oh, bless him. Noah's Wait, first let's do a Easter. 3D camera vision. Wow. Do you guys feel like you're here with all the bubbles going round? Oh my goodness, this is so cute. <gasps> Jamie, doesn't this feel surreal that we're sat outside with Noah on his first Easter <laughs> surrounded by bubbles <laughs> with our very own little Easter bunny? Easter Noah land. <laughs> okay, so I think a firm favourite is the milk bottle. <laughs> yeah. This is cool that he's got his name on. I know. I we can have it each it. year. Lovely, isn't it? <gasps> Hello, Noah. It's me, the Easter Bunny, and I bought you all these goodies. What voice would you give the bunny? Hey, Noah. It's me, Bunny Boy. <laughs> bunny Boy? <laughs> Why are they all American? <laughs> hey, Noah. It's me, Bunny Boy from Texas. Oh. <laughs> The wheelie, the wheelie bunny, the wheelie and wheel bunny. He loves anything felt. He loves those. Have you felt the felt? Felt. He likes sucking anything felt. Must feel nice on the old teethies. You can hear lots of clattering around. Noah has got his pots and pans out. Honestly, the best way to keep Noah entertained 
for such a long time is a wooden spoon, a saucepan, and basically just anything out of these drawers, which are like cooking utensils. It keeps him so entertained. He loves them more than pretty much every single one of his toys. So he's just happy playing down there with those. I am just about to cut up some apples because we are going somewhere very exciting this afternoon. We've had a bit of change of plan with our days. So basically we've swapped this afternoon with tomorrow's afternoon plans because the weather tomorrow is meant to rain and storm all day. So we can't do what we were going to do. So we've just decided to switch days. So tomorrow we're gonna have our cozy day at home, our Easter roast, um, the Ikea furniture has just been delivered as well so we can do some work on the playroom. So that's plans for tomorrow now and this afternoon we are going alpaca trekking. I'm so excited. Alpacas are one of my favourite things on earth and the alpaca trek is in Wells next to sea and I've actually been before for my sister-in-law's Hindu, and it was amazing. So we're going to take Noah which is just going to be so special. I can't wait. Um, and yeah, I'm chopping up some apples because you can feed them chopped apples. And it's kind of inspired me for my life goal. My goal in life is to have alpacas. I just want loads of alpacas. I want an alpaca farm. Just imagine Gemma's alpaca farm. We could walk alpacas together. I just feel like that would be my dream. Yeah, we are leaving in the next kind of like 20 minutes. Pretty much everything's ready. I just need to pack Noah's little food bag and cut up our apples. But yeah, I cannot wait to take you guys alpaca trekking with us. Here they are. We are just having a little browse of the alpacas. You can actually go on, meet the alpacas and you can see all their names, look. Pedro, Machu, Piku. We're hoping you get to choose. I'm not sure if you do, I can't remember. To be honest, I love them all, I really don't mind. Jamie likes the look of Pepe. I think when I went before, I had Eduardo, this little um, this little black and white one. I'm sure he was very small. Oh, Paco, I think I love Paco the most. Ah, I'm so excited. Can you guys hear our car playlist? Ding dong. Hickory dickory dock. We have certain favourites. What's your personal fave? Um, you like that funky monkey one that came on last yeah, week? That was, that was like yeah, that was. It was like a monkeys on the bed remix, and it was like. <laughs> 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 There's some weird drum in the background. If you have a baby, if you know, you know. I personally, I like this one that goes. The elephant goes fa woo, fa woo, fa woo, fa woo. We sound just. Yeah, just this thinking about lives now. Like, which one is your favourite? Getting excited about the monkey one with the light. <laughs> <laughs> Literally yeah. getting excited about nursery rhymes. Oh yeah, that's my favourite. What a banger! <laughs> We're off to see the alpacas. Wonderful alpacas as well. <laughs> I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. 
Noah's in bed, which means Easter egg time. Jamie and I have been waiting, waiting to get in bed and be pigs and probably devour an entire Easter egg. It's time. Moment we've all been waiting for. Crack open the main eggs. attraction of Easter. I've got a galaxy enchanted eggs. Oh my god, it's huge. Look how big this is. What the? It's so big, isn't it? Hey, we've got a dime. Hey, where's your dimes? Oh, yeah. Uh, you eating them? No, there's only one in there. Really? It was a big bar. Well, it's gone. Where did you eat that? <laughs> you know when I ate it. Earlier. Had it. We had it every day. We? I didn't have any. <laughs> I bought it up here. I never had any of your dime bars. It's called Dame. It's called Dime. Guys, do you say Dime or Dame? I think it's uh, Dame. How are you meant to crack, crack this bad boy? Um, well, when we were young, we used to do it on our head. Do it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I've got it in my hand now. What's that? Yeah, that's my head that made that cracking sound. <laughs> what did, did you do that? What? How did you do that? It didn't even break. What the hell is that made out of a brick? That was so Oh, it did hard. break. Yeah, it's, it's solid because it's got the stuff in there. Yeah, it. Sorry. Let me chop it. Don't chop it. No, I don't want it ruined. It won't ruin. It will just break it nicely. It's going all over the bed. Don't you think chocolate tastes so much better in egg form? You think it tastes mm. different? This bar was quite nice, actually. Mmm. Mmm. I like bits like this. You've got to say it hits different. I try not to say that. <laughs> I feel way too old to say that. <laughs> Chocolate hits different when it's um an egg form. Mm. Sometimes I want to say it's different and I actually stop myself saying it because I feel like a fogey. I haven't even updated you guys on our packer tracking. It was amazing. James Chocolate. They were just trying to get chocolate off of there. So good. I, I thought they'd be like a group of us, but it was actually just me, Jamie, and the lady. And it was just like really nice. It was really chilled. I love the alpacas. The alpacas were just so cute. They're such like calm, gentle animals. Like they were lovely, weren't they? They're my mm. spirit animal. Um, what was my one called? I can't pronounce my one's name. Jamie had Nacho. We've got key rings of them. I've Yours bought them upstairs. Quinoa. No, mine was called Quanto. Oh, look how cute these are. So cute. Looking along with the alpaca, oh, and all of a sudden, it will dive in the bush. <laughs> and he just like dived in the bush and was like rubbing in there. And yeah. then he'll be walking along and he'll just like collapse on the floor and start rolling around on the floor. <laughs> it was so funny. They were just, I just feel like they're such personalities, yeah, they were so <laughs> cool. And then at the end of our walk, so we walked like all round Wells, like in a circle. And then we got to feed them our apples and I got literally bombarded by like three of the really tall brown ones. <clears throat> and they were so cheeky because I had the bag of apples in my hand and they were like, <sighs> like trying to get in the bag. They were oh, super greedy. Things. They were greedy. Cute though. I've got like 16, 15. Mm. I mean, before. 15 alpacas. 15 alpacas. And a lot of them were saved um, from places that didn't treat them nice. Mm. So, yeah, that was nice. Because people that breed them want females. Mm. And they were all males. And sometimes the males actually go into like dog food and stuff. They go into dog food? That's what she said. They use them for meat. Oh. Yeah, no. Because there's just two, they don't want the males because they can't. Well, you only want one male for breeding. It's what she said. One stud, and then you have the rest is female. So there's like they have too many males, the breeders, 
and it's just like another mouth to feed so they just get rid of them oh my god that's so sad we that's need why, we need an alpaca sanctuary that's why he's come along and saved them i feel sad i'd love an alpaca sanctuary so would i we're back here again where we're trying to find something to watch have we given up on red rose i was about to yeah it's boring me to death now <laughs> I said to we you guys again. last time we try we were trying Red Rose. A few of you said that you really enjoyed it, um, and we've just been on episode six <coughs> for like we've tried to watch episode six. It was good at the so beginning. So many times. The beginning was good, mm. but like the the part, yeah. Episode six seems like it's just gone on forever. <laughs> it's never ending. We can't get past it. We either fall asleep or we're just like. It's, I have kind of got Jamie into Married at First Sight. I don't mind it. It's not my kind of thing, but... It is my dream for him to love it as much as... I've had enough egg. We have so much egg left. Have you had enough? You're just sat there like... <laughs> Beat me. Labyrinth. I love Labyrinth. Labyrinth is one of my favourite, all-time favourites. You are mammy and a babe. The what babe? The babe with the, 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 the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who you do? You do. What? You remind me of the babe, I saw my baby crying How hard many times as do we do babe this? could cry. We sing that so many times, at least once a week. We're going to find a film. Oh, I feel like I'm dribbling. Probably make ourselves feel very sick with Easter. I'm done. And I can't do anymore. We will see you in the morning. Bye night. Bye. <laughs> rainy cozy bank holiday monday afternoon i'm just about to get started on our ultimate easter roast dinner which i've been really looking forward to so we're having i'm gonna do a rosemary pork roasted pork with some homemade applesauce roast potatoes i bought these I think they're just potatoes i think it's just like a fancy bag but i'm excited to see if they turn out any nicer um roasted carrots of course gonna do an onion gravy um i bought some mash just to kind of have on the side i love i love carvery roast dinners where you have like a few different potatoes yorkshire puddings cauliflower cheese Ooh, and some stuffing balls which i need to make as well so yeah i'm gonna get started on this now and then aim for it to be ready around Maybe around four, like an early dinner, and then Noah can have our roast dinner with us as well, which will be really nice. So I'm gonna try a new roast potato recipe today, but minus the parmesan, because I don't have any of that. Because apparently, this is what suckered me into buying this pack of literally is just potatoes um, because they just looked so crispy. Cr crispy? That was a mix between crispy and fluffy. Just so delicious. So I'm gonna try this. This has flour in it and I never usually use flour in potatoes. So I'm thinking that'll make them like nice and fluffy. So we'll give it a go and I'll let you know how it turns. Jamie's oh. just analyzing the potatoes. <laughs> It's just potatoes in a bag. <laughs> they are just potatoes in a bag. It's a posh bag though, isn't it? I, I don't understand. Maybe, I was thinking maybe, I, was, I did actually think it was a pack. I so I thought it would have potatoes, like... It's literally just potatoes. It's just potatoes in a bag. So I thought they might come with like, oh, I don't know, potato. something. Oh no, has he found a bit of potato peel? Oh no, you want to taste it? <laughs> no, Dada. He doesn't need any potato. I think it may come with like some kind of like flavouring. Mm. But no, it is just 
just potatoes in a bag, Harry and Percy's. Turbo crawl. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the Noah cam. What you want to look this way? I'll be your host, Noah. <laughs> Happy Easter, guys. <laughs> You're completely desperate to get your hands on this, aren't you? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh, lovely. Put fingerprints all over the lens. Beautiful. <coughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Is that a little effect for the screen? Oh, lovely. Noah's fingerprints. <coughs> you. <coughs> you. You've seen us in. <coughs> <laughs> Lovely boy. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, I waved at you. That was the animal thing. He has two different types of wave. He does this at humans and then this at cats and sometimes humans. <laughs> and I just got the cat one. The animal one. Oh, what have you spotted down there? Ah, oh, yes. Another one of your favourite things. This. oven which has been in there for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna pop some fresh rosemary in the oil I'm just gonna like pull it off the stems and as you can hear it's sizzling away and this gives the roast potatoes so much flavor I feel like that's the sound of a crispy potato Roast potatoes are looking good. They look like they're gonna be very crispy. I think it's all thanks to the flour. Easter dinner is served. Noah's enjoying a little bit of what have you got there? A bit of Yorkshire? Ooh. Yeah, me. Noah's little dinner here. Thank It's got a little bit of everything. Yorkshire, a little bit of cauliflower cheese, little taties, a little bit of pork under there. He's never tried pork, so I'll be interested to see if he likes it. Carrots. <laughs> How's your really Yorkshire? <laughs> He's really enjoying that, isn't he? Lovely. This is delicious, guys. So I was ready for this. So Can I have, I have this every morning. night? <laughs> Yeah, me. He's trying to look at Teddy playing with his thing. Mm. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> it is time for some IKEA building for Jamie. I have bought, I saw on TikTok the IKEA must haves for a playroom. So I got this little cabinet some wall shelves for books and also this which is a dish rack which you can display books on so i thought all of his nice books could go on here oh my goodness noah loves going upside down so much me i don't like it so much excited to do some ikea flat pack haven't done any in a while you can't I'm wait Monday. yes yes what's a bank holiday monday without some ikea flat pack Yes! Oh. <gasps> yes! <laughs> uh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. Yes! <laughs> Are you ready? <sighs> yes! Noah's favourite things include being upside down and being pretended to be dropped. He absolutely loves it. And the crane. He loves the crane. Oh, this is the crane. Come on! Oh, it's like a grabber machine. Yeah, he loves it. 
Radio 2, always, especially on any kind of occasion, like I always feel like at Christmas, Easter weekend, like Valentine's Day, any occasion they just play the cutest nostalgic song. To Radio 2 whilst I've been cooking our roast, which we have obviously now eaten. Nella has just gone down for his second nap of the day. I've just been getting some washing done, some bits and bobs done around the house. I've also just like jumped in the shower and washed my hair quickly because Whenever I cook a roast or like I'm in and out of the oven, my hair always really smells of cooking um, and I hate that. There's nothing worse than like getting into bed and your hair smells like roast dinner. So I decided to wash it. Um, our roast dinner was lovely by the way, like so nice and Noah really enjoyed it as well. Noah's been like super picky with food recently, like a lot of food just kind of ends up being thrown on the floor. Um, but there just is nothing more satisfying than when your baby eats and enjoys the food that you've cooked. He loved it. And the roast potatoes were really good, by the way, guys. They weren't my best roast potatoes. Um, I think I'll stick to like my normal recipe going forward and I won't get suckered into buying the really posh bag of roasting potatoes that are just potatoes. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the playroom. Now it's a little bit tidier. So I've just rearranged a few things. Tilly's just... <laughs> having her afternoon nap this is her favorite place to sleep especially when the sun is on this little cushion she absolutely loves it so i've popped the jumper over here the jumper roo feel like that corner it kind of is just a bit more tucked away um this is new actually play mat so before we just had the carpet but i felt like we needed something where noah could like play with his little cars and stuff so i got this it's like a puzzle floor mat but i wish i had got one that just like was all in one and you didn't pop together it wasn't a puzzle one because what keeps happening is it keeps lifting or <laughs> noah keeps pulling it he loves pulling these side bits off so it's just like a constant thing having to put it back together so i kind of wished i'd got just like a you know like a big one that you roll out um but yeah that's been really handy him having a place where he can properly play with his toys with wheels so this is what it's looking like jumper in the corner We've got the basket that was over there, just there with his big toys in, which I'm thinking I'm going to pop in our new little cabinet. So happy with how this looks. It's perfect for this corner. Um, and there's loads of room in here as well. I was actually surprised how big this is. So this can store, just got some bubbles in there at the moment. This can store all of his big toys. And then still need to play around with this, but we've got his little Noah's Ark lamp and Jamie's actually clamped this down so Noah can't pull this off. I don't want it to be dangerous, but it's great that it's now stuck on there. I've just popped a little print of a sloth here, which is so cute. And then this is what the little dish rack looks like, which is so good. This was three pounds from Ikea. Just popped these little easter themed books on here for now and once noah's awake from his afternoon nap jamie is going to pop the shelves here so i'm thinking of having one two here and then maybe one in this corner i've bought like a big frame to go here which is a animals of the world frame which is cute and then i was thinking we could put the little wall rug which i got from h&m under that and then this wall let me know what you guys think I'd like like a few bits on here. I want this room to just be like really fun. So I'm thinking some like maybe a colourful wall rug here, like quite a big one. Um, and actually for this section, I've just remembered in this drawer, this drawer's quite chaotic at the moment. <laughs> we just had to buy some more of these for all the plugs because one of Noah's favourite things at the moment is plug sockets. Um, where are they? Oh, they're here. I've still got these. This is currently our stuff drawer, if you couldn't tell. I've got these little wooden woodland animal cutouts. So where the shelves go, I'm thinking we could pop these around the shelves, might look cute. Um, or we could maybe do them around the TV. Not too sure yet, but once Jamie's put the shelves up, we'll find a nice little home for these as well. 
Okay, a few hours have passed. It is a little later on in the afternoon and we've actually got a lot more done than we thought we would in the playroom. I can't believe how much coziness bookshelves add. I also got some new little books for Noah from Amazon. So we've got these. I've popped some little jelly cats on the shelves, of course. And I also picked up from Amazon this little set of wooden, like a little wooden forest that comes with this little wooden fox, which I thought just so nice for the shelves. So that's what they're looking like. Also popped up the H&M little wool rug. I thought it just looked cute here. And Jamie has also screwed down let me show you oh rabbit's head just flopped in the way <laughs> screwed down the book stand and i switched up this print to a koala because i've created a sloth corner is what we're calling this little corner of the room <laughs> so we've got the sloth print over here on these shelves these shelves are also from ikea um we've got cuddly jelly cat sloth and then Cyril's Big Adventure, which is all about Cyril, the sloth's big adventure. And then finally found the perfect place for this Let's Play wall light, which very kindly sent to me from Lights for Fun, which I think is perfect. The only thing we need to do now is child-proof this section here. Now, this is for a TV, so there's not really much we can really do about this. So what our plan is, is you know the big electrical boxes? One of those, mount it on the wall, and then all of this section will be hidden because at the moment it's just... A child's dream, isn't it? <laughs> With all of these little bits to poke fingers. Um, so I've ordered one of those, which will be here tomorrow, which will just make sure all of this section is nice and safe. Yeah, I'm so happy with the playroom. Feels so much cozier in here. And this is probably the room we spend most of our time. And it's just started raining, which is giving the most perfect cozy vibes. My loves, that is gonna go ahead and end this little weekend vlog. Really hope you enjoyed spending time with us this weekend. It's been so nice. I'm actually a little bit sad that Monday is coming to an end because we've just had such a lovely time. We've had like a full family weekend. It's been so lovely and time is just going too quick. How is it the middle of April? Like Noah is just changing so much. I say this all the time, but he's going to be one next month. How... Have we almost got a one-year-old? Yeah, just gonna have a relaxing bank holiday evening. Thank you so much for spending time with us this weekend and I will see you all next Sunday. Bye-bye.